Christmas is cancelled, apparently, or at least it is if you were planning on visiting Lapland, West Midlands. Sounds enticing, doesn't it? Uh, it's become the second festive theme park, forced to close due to adverse publicity. The organisers described it as, quote, an authentic taste of Christmas, complete with reindeer, husky dogs, real snow and ice skating. Uh, they say they haven't been helped by the bad publicity that surrounded a similar failed Lapland attraction near Dorset. Okay. Uh because it would have been a lovely, um, lovely weekend this weekend and next weekend. Yep. But it's just due to the bad publicity we've had and the council not granting a licence for us nice. in time to carry on. What? Our correspondent, Darren Little, is there. Darren, show me some husky dogs, some reindeer, a bit of real snow. Chris, I would love to. One of the problems is there are no animals here at all. Let, let us show you what was Lapland uh, West Midlands. I can tell you that this was cancelled around about half nine this morning. Uh, it's not changed a great deal since then. It's not like all of these attractions have suddenly uh, gone away. This is it. I can tell you on the website it says that everything here should be under the cover of ornate decorative marquees. Well, there are marquees, of course, there, aren't there? Outside, supervised rides. There was a cup and saucer ride that did arrive. Uh, it turned around very quickly. Uh, there's a mega slide, or should have been, a bungee trampolining, a climbing wall, and a Formula One racetrack, to name but a few of the other fairground rides. It uh, strangely says, the enormity and detail of our park will truly wow you. Well, not anymore, and this was not cheap either. Earlier, trading standards came down here from Staffordshire County Council, and I spoke to Carol Dean, who actually went down to investigate it. This is after it was cancelled, and she told me what she made of the site. That's why we've all come along today, to, to see exactly what they'd got, and once the event did open, then, yes, it, it would have been, we would have been able to have shut it down because the appropriate planning permission hadn't been sought. And of course this is no laughing matter. Tickets were £25 uh, per person. There was a family ticket for a family of four, two adults, two children. £80 it was going to come, uh, cost to come to this attraction. And of course we're waiting for people to turn up now. It was due to open at midday today. This of course no laughing matter. People will have been uh, seen this website and thought this would be a lovely experience for their children. We'll wait to see whether anyone does turn up and what they make of this scene, which as you say is a million miles away from Lapland.